It's interesting. I grew up as sort of a free market uh, economist, uh, libertarian kind of guy, and in many ways I still hold those uh, values. So one might ask, why do I think that policy is so important in the case of energy? Well, in the case of energy, we're talking about uh, energy uh, investments, energy markets that are heavily regulated, and the, the quote-unquote invisible hand of the free market given the current structures and, and, and constraints on the system, is not allowed to operate very effectively. Uh, the, in other words, another way to put it is, um, there are a lot of policy uh, implications already inherent in the, in, the, in the energy industry, and the only way to unwind those policies is with other policies. Uh, and so, um, the, the, the situation going forward in energy, if we're going to move ourselves off of oil, if we're going to deal with climate change, the invisible hand of the free market will, will point us in the direction of the cheapest source possible for energy. And that will just continue to paint us into the corner that we've painted ourselves into. We have pursued a cheap energy policy for the past 50 to 75 years where lowest near-term cost is the only thing that matters. And this is where it's gotten us. And it's going to be the lowest cost energy source until it isn't anymore. And there's going to be a big step function going away from the current energy structure to the new energy structure that's necessary. And the only way that we're making this leap from the old energy structure to the new energy structure, it's not going to happen at the pace it needs to happen uh, by the market alone. If policies are put in place to send the price signals to investors and consumers to do the right things, I'm very confident in the forces of capitalism to produce the changes that are necessary. But right now, the capitalist society is responding magnificently to an, a cheap energy policy, which is reinforcing uh, continuation of the status quo. What we need are energy policies that help us step out into the new energy world that we need to move into. What does that mean? It means policies to, to uh, deal with carbon uh, uh, emissions. It probably means some sort of policies to discourage gasoline consumption, at least gasoline from petroleum. It probably means policies to support and encourage R&D and deployment of new energy technologies. There are a variety of different types of policies under each of, the, each of those buckets that need to be put in place both at the federal and state and local levels. Um, and so my message to the world is that uh, we can't just let the markets drive us on energy. Um, Clemenceau used to say war is too important for, to be left to the generals. Uh, energy uh, and environmental issues is too important to be left to the markets because the markets can't respond given the economic signals that they've been given by the rules of the game set by the policymakers of today. We need those changed. Uh, you, the public, need to voice your opinions at the polls and with letters to your politicians to get on with the new energy transition that needs to happen.